Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you uh, append meshes uh, which is a new functionality in Mesh Morpher which allows us to append a mesh to another mesh and transfer weights or attach the mesh to a specific uh, bone, right? So well, what we want to do in this example is uh, we want to attach to this metahuman head we want to attach uh, a spike mesh which uh, will make our metahuman look like this and then uh, we will test two possible uh, cases here we will test the case where we want the weights from the head to be transferred to the spikes so they move with expressions and uh, all that kind of stuff and uh, we will also test uh, attaching to a bone so uh, this uh, attach mesh will uh, move or rotate with the uh, uh, the bone we selected right so uh let's get started let me uh, remove uh, this mesh from the reference uh in order for this uh, to work if uh, we want uh, to transfer weights from the head mesh for example to the new mesh uh, to uh, the mesh we're trying to append the meshes need to be aligned right so uh the mesh we want to append needs to be properly aligned exactly uh, where we want uh, to intersect with the head right otherwise you will uh, face some problems so let's get started Let, let's go to append meshes and uh, we will select our spike mesh and uh, here we have uh, several options uh, we can select uh, a max lod if we leave this minus one it will try to append the mesh to all lod's and if we select the value, for example, zero, it will apply it only to LOD zero, right? If we uh, put one, it will apply it to LOD zero and one, right? So uh, I'm going to leave it minus one so we can uh, have it on all LODs. And I'm not going to select the parent bone. First, uh, we will uh, try our experiment with uh, the weight transferring. Uh, don't forget that if you are transferring uh, weights, from your uh, metahuman face to your uh, mesh you're trying to append, you, you would have to do this before subdividing if you were planning to subdivide, right? Uh, this doesn't work very well with uh, very dense meshes. So keep that in mind. So now we have uh, our new mesh attached uh, to the head and uh, we want to fix the materials. So this is something we have to do manually for now. I'm gonna try to find the solution for this, but for now uh, it is what it is. So let me go to asset details uh, and uh, at LOD zero, I'm gonna select my uh, my uh, slot, which is spikes. You would have to do the same for all LODs if you selected multiple LODs, but uh, I'm just gonna do it for LOD zero for our video, right? Okay, uh, let's save this and let's test uh, with an uh, animation. Let's test Arcade animation let, and let's see the movement of our spikes. If uh, they move with the, with the mesh, it looks pretty good. Uh, one thing, if uh, you have uh, glitches or you want to fix some problems, you can go to Skeletal Mesh Editor and paint uh, or edit weights the way you want, right? This is pretty cool that you can do that. So keep that in mind. Okay, and uh, another uh, thing uh, we want to do, another example is uh, with uh, attaching the mesh to a bone, right? So uh, I'm gonna select the spikes again. And instead uh, of uh, leaving uh, just the uh, transfer weights enabled and parent bone, to none i'm gonna select here for example head bone right uh it has to be a valid bone in the metahuman right so i know for a fact that exists on this metahuman uh, skeleton so once you have a parent bone this will uh, transfer weights will be automatically ignored right so let's press ok okay and uh, let's do the same with the material let's uh, assign the slot so we can see it better and let's save and now if uh, we go to poser 
if uh, we rotate uh, the head bone or do anything now we can see that uh, our appended mesh will uh, rotate or move uh, with our uh, head bone right so uh, this is pretty good uh, when uh, we attach attach to a bone there is no uh, weights transferred so if uh, we test this with an animation let's go to preview scene and use a specific animation let's select arc it you will see that uh, nothing moves right uh, our appended mesh will move only with the head uh, bone if the head rotates this will rotate if the head uh, bone moves this uh, attachment will also move so uh, this is it uh, for this video guys uh, uh, this is what i wanted to show you uh, append mesh is uh, pretty new we're still uh, trying to find the best way and best ways for this. Try to optimize it, uh, treat it uh, as an experimental uh, functionality. And uh, don't forget to let me know if something goes wrong so we can improve it further, right? So this is it for this video, guys. See you around and uh, 